what's up and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome so if you have been already watching a few of my videos you know that every wednesday i post to the broke beach series and up until now they have been quite popular like not that anybody actually watches my videos but you know for now they are quite popular so today i thought that i'm going to have a little bit more real money talk with you all about school, back to school, how to survive on a budget in school. Like, I know that few of you are not in school anymore and most of you, if you are in school, are quite limited when it comes to financials because, yeah, most of you don't have jobs how could you have even like a full-time job when you are in school that's just stupid so but you live from your parents money and i know that school is literally an awful place to survive especially if your family is not in the best best place financially but there is a way to survive it first of all i want to say it up front that you should never ever be embarrassed about your financial situation, your family's financial situation, especially not. And don't ever let anyone look down on you just because you have less money and you cannot afford like, I don't know, an iPhone 8, which is going to come out or whatever, you know, you don't have to be ashamed of that. Like that's not what life is about. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you are less of a person or you're worth less just because of your financial situation. Not when you are older, not when you are a child, especially when you are in school and and you are under 16, so you cannot even have like a part-time job, like a student job. Don't let the other kids in school tell you that you are worth less. You are not. So... Yeah, without further talk and further ado, let's get to the video itself. So the first thing we are going to talk about right now is when you are hitting 16. So I think in the United States and in Europe, I know that in Europe, uh, the legal age of having a job, it's 16 years old. And I know it's really really difficult to combine it with your studies especially if you are in high school about to graduate or if you are in college college it's maybe even more difficult but if you want to survive if you want to have your own money if you if you want to be a little bit more independent financially then i think it's something that you should consider that when you hit the age that you can legally have a part-time job a summer job or whatever like that you should go for it really um now when i was in school when i hit the age of 16 i couldn't wait for it literally to have my own work have my own money because i don't really come from a wealthy family so i had to have my own money if i wanted to buy anything literally anything because my guardian i didn't grow up with my parents so my guardians literally didn't give me anything not even clothes so i had to take care of myself in that manner so i know that it wasn't easy combined with school because i took school quite seriously so i tried to always do good and it was very very difficult with work i was a lot of times exhausted i was eight hours in school and six hours at work literally every single day and in the weekends i was just working full time eight hours saturday sunday but it taught me a lot of things like prepare me for my future because in the future when you graduate from school whatever you studied you will have to start by working for people so that way when you start as a student you already get a little taste of real life that yeah it's not all fun and games and you have to listen what people will tell you and you sometimes have to do things that you don't want to do or you think that it's very tiring but yeah you just have to go for it so my first tip is 
how to survive school on a budget is try to have a side job. Now, my second tip is <clears throat> about lunches and eating at school. So I know that especially if you are in college, you spend an incredible amount of money on junk food, expensive junk food. Everybody does it. I've been guilty of it. I think everybody have been guilty of that. Now, what's the best thing to do is, I think I have mentioned in a previous video of mine, cook for yourself, really go out to the grocery store and buy a few things for yourself that you know that you can make something easy or buy fruit, vegetables, that's always good for you on the go. Just buy bananas instead of buying some chocolate or whatever. And another great tip is also to pack your lunch to school. Like really at home, prepare for yourself a few sandwiches or you know, whatever you like, whatever you have at home. And instead of buying at the cafeteria something or going out for lunch and spend money, bring your own lunch. It's healthier, cheaper, and yeah, in the end of the day, it still goes to the same place, right? <laughs> so, um, so another thing is going to be a little bit more, I think, not that important, but yeah, when you are in school, you always want to fit in. Like, everybody is wearing so nice clothes and having awesome phones and all kinds of things. First thing you have to know is that you do not have to be like everybody else. You can be just you. Like, you don't have to try to fit in. If you if you can't or if, if you actually do not want to, then don't try it. Second, like about clothes and, and all those beautiful things that people have, you also have to know that when you are in school, it's actually not their accomplishment. It's their parents' accomplishment. They do not work for these things. They don't buy those things for themselves. Their parents do it. So you also have to know, like, even if they try to look down on you or say mean things to you just because you are wearing old clothes or secondhand clothes and they are walking around in, I don't know, gas or whatever, just let it slide. Really, let it slide because it's not their accomplishment. They didn't do anything for it and it doesn't make them a better person than you are. And another thing when it comes to school and if, yeah, if you just want to survive, the best way is just to look clean, look healthy. So take good care of yourself. Like really make sure that your, your nails are clean, make sure that your hair is clean and nicely brushed, like not like mine right now because it's awful. If you don't wear makeup, do not wear makeup, but make sure that your face is clean. Like, okay, you can't help your pimples and blackheads and all kinds of breakouts on your face, especially when you are a teenager, you can't help it. And if you don't want to cover them up with makeup, it's okay. You don't have to. I also have a video though on uh, cheap drugstore makeup, which can actually turn you into a beauty glam insta betty. But let's go back to the main topic of this. So the easiest way to survive is just be clean, really wear clean clothes. Like you don't have to have the highest fashion clothes. And I don't know, I think it's 2017. Does anyone even care about if your clothes are fashionable for now or not? You can just say that, hey, I'm a hipster, you know, you're still cool. Um, make sure that you, you, you always clean, make sure that you are confident, that you know that you worth something because people will look at you also differently when you sit like this, sad and all alone with dirty, messy hair and, you know, just not looking clean, <clears throat> not looking hygienic. But if you are just yourself, confident, know your own worth, looking clean, looking, looking normal, you have better chances of not getting bullied, which is also not okay, bullying is not okay, but you know, always take good care of yourself. Or if there is really, really, really something in trend at your school or, you know, at the circle or, you know, wherever you at, and you can't afford it, there are a lot of ways to do it yourself, certain things, which even makes it more special and more extra, like, then you won't be like the rest. Or you can also look for dupes. Like, I don't know, you see some nice shoes, let's say the new collection of 
Mr. Kanye West, <laughs> then the only thing you have to do is literally type Yeezy dupes in Google and it will throw you out a millions of websites where you can get for not even close to that thousand dollar price. Like if you have watched, I don't know, Amber Scholl's videos, for example, or Asia Jackson, they all show you a lot of ways where you can get dupes. So I would definitely recommend to check it out because they are much better than online shopping than I am. But there is always a way to find anything that you really love for cheaper. So that's it for today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it and i hope i could actually help some of you i know that school is not easy for anyone and i know that school is a place where even though everybody tells you it's only a few years and it's you know it's just school you are there to study we all know that in the end of the day it is not like that like we are there to study and everything, but it's somehow kind of the runway, you know, like you always want to look nice and this and that. But take it from me, high school only lasts four years. So don't really worry about it. Go to school to study, to be better. And if when whatever your financial situation is, wherever you come from, you can always be better, you can always be bigger, you know? You just have to go for it. Like, don't ever let anything or anyone or any kind of situation control you or hold you back. Always be yourself, always be confident, and really, don't worry too much. And if you really, really, really want to achieve something, go for it. Because without hard work, you are not gonna get anywhere. So, that's all I think. Um, all my socials will be linked down below in the description box if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Also, you can do it down in the comment box below. I make sure that I will get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe. Did I say that? Did I say that? I don't know. So, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys on Friday because this Friday I'm going to upload a pride makeup tutorial to show my respect and appreciation to the LGBTQ community. And yeah, that's all I guess. Love you all.